Hey guys, so in this video, I want to talk about dividends and I want to talk about how dividends uh, may be slashed you know, for uh, 2020, 2021. So if you want to know more about that, then this video is for you. I hope you get a lot from all of this. So let's begin. So first things first, let's discuss what dividends are. So I made a lot of videos already discussing what dividends are, how you make money off of it, how it works. but. Uh, you can go through all of my other videos if you want a more lengthy discussion on dividends. But basically, for those who don't know, and if you're watching a dividend video for the very first time, uh, dividends basically would come from earnings, meaning they came from previous year's earnings that from excess. Please remember, when companies make money, a portion of that they still have to pay their operations, pay their expansion, and pay for the, all of the other things that are very, very important for the company. Dividends basically is an excess of all of that. That's, a, that's the simplest way for me to be able to discuss what dividends are. So since dividends are an excess of that, you are getting an excess portion of the cash that the company that does not the company does not need anymore that's given out to investors. So basically, as you all know, it, dividends are not guaranteed. Just looking at from that definition, why? Because on certain years, there will be years that their income will be good. There will be years also where their income is good, but they spent a lot of money. They may, they may have expanded more. They may have uh, bought more land. They might have bought more machinery. They might have uh, bought, if you're a fast food joint, you might have expanded into more territories and that would entail a larger amount of cost. So even if they made more, even if they had more sales, it does not mean and it does not translate also that the dividends will be higher. Please remember that the dividends is basically mandated by the board of directors or whatever they decide on. So it's not guaranteed because it's predicated on what the board of directors will decide. And sometimes they are strategic on how they use those dividends. Now, that being said, here this is the whole context and the whole crux of this video. Number one, uh, there are there are some companies that have disclosed that they are slashing their dividends, meaning they may not be giving dividends already this year in spite of them earning money last year. Please remember, they're entitled to do that because as what I've said earlier, dividends are not guaranteed. And as you all know, what we're experiencing right now is something that we have never experienced before. What we're experiencing right now is something that's so different. This is something that... Uh, in all intents and purposes, it's something that no one planned. It's something that in 2019, no one ever thought that this would happen, that the whole Philippines would be on lockdown, that you would see a lot of companies that were expanding. Suddenly, they're not expanding anymore because of what's, uh, what's possibly happening because of the narrative of this entire lockdown and the pandemic. So if you've been watching all of the videos that I've been saying or I've been discussing in the past, uh, majority of companies right now, they're not aiming for profitability. They're just aiming to be liquid. And part of that being liquid is that they have a good amount of cash that they can use, that they have a good amount of cash that can protect them, that they have a good amount of cash that will shield them when uh, because of this uncertainty and as you all know i've said this in a lot of videos investors do not like uncertainty when invest as investors do not like uncertainty it's it's them having cash business owners also don't like uncertainty but it's them having cash it gives them the buffer to be able to protect them so what does this mean and how does this affect uh you as a dividend investor so by the way if you are a person who's trading then this must this doesn't affect you as much if you're a person who's uh if you're a person who's into growth investing meaning you're really into capital appreciation then this might not an, uh, affect you as much also but if you're a person who's after dividends then most likely you will be affected so please remember we are not in normal circumstances right now uh if this was a normal circumstance magtataka ako mag magugulat ako uh, if a comp why a company will slash their dividends, but companies right now are some of them are slashing their dividends because they want to preserve cash. They want to build their war chest so that if things get worse, they will still be afloat. And I think that's a prudent thing, no? Better that they don't give us dividends right now, 
as stock investors, then the company may be in, in dire, may, may, be, may be having more problems later on in the future. So if there's one thing that they're doing is they're just doing this in order for them to protect uh, the company in the long term. Please remember that's, that if the business is healthy, the dividends will also come back later on. And that's what I want to share to all of you, that uh, that's the risk also when you're investing in companies that give out dividends, that the risk is they can slash it anytime they want. The risk is if things are not going the way they planned it to be or expenses will be more, they can easily take out the dividends. And that's why preferred shares, um, in normal circumstances, no, we would say that by common shares, some of them have higher dividend yields, especially if the stock prices would go down. And now this is where we're seeing the risk of buying stocks, not common shares, that when they slash out dividends, it hurts the common stock investors that are after the dividend yields. And in the same way, uh, it's, that's why it's safer also from a passive income perspective. It's safer also from a uh, fixed income perspective for those who like bonds and for those who like uh, for those who like preferred shares so that at least your income relatively from a cash flow perspective is better so here's the expectation you can expect companies that are hit now their sales are heavily hit or their income will be hit and their projections have been skewed up for a very long time uh, that they're the ones that will be hit the most and they're, they're the candidates for them slashing their dividend. So I'll make another video. I know I've, I've made a video where the computations of the dividend yields are there, but it's hard to make estimates right now on how it will be slashed and who are the ones that will uh, will maintain their dividend yields. No, But if there's one thing that I, I know and if there's one thing that I can make consistent to all of you is you can do this. The ones that you think will that are doing well, that are earning more, that are not as affected as the other industries, for sure, there's a bigger chance that their dividends may be maintained or may be even better. That being said, those are the telco companies, and I, I believe that those are the supermarket companies. If there's if there's one thing that I've been consistent on and what I've been sharing that I believe they've been uh, quite well, you know, even during this lockdown, PLDT Globe, and also pure gold i like them because they're the ones that even under this new normal they'll still operate well they're still gonna uh, somehow uh do better still so there uh as i've said this on previous videos that if you're investing for passive income dividends are amazing because as long as the company's earning well they can still give you the dividends that you want but again now this is where it hits the road now that a lot of them are not earning well and because they're not earning well it's the first things that they will slash now what should be your objective now as an investor you you assess if i sell it right now and i transfer it to another company will i get the yields that i could possibly get do i still have a shot to get cash flow if i move it to another company but you also have to consider where your position is in the stock that you own meaning if you sell it right now will it still be at a gain or will it be at a loss because that will also impact uh the way that the way your your earnings will be because if you sell it at a loss and then you transfer it and you get dividends off of that pero baka hindi na sulit yung makikita yung income from from that as a whole I, I hope you get that i hope that you get that entire logic but transferring it into something that will give you dividends because the one that you want right now is not giving you dividends might not uh, might not yield a good deal for you if you're selling it at a loss and if you are an investor now uh that being said also it will all it you should know your numbers you should know that uh if things get better will this company have the ability to give me dividends by 2021 or 2022 or 2023 or 2024 because you know that the business model of the company will be not as hit as uh, how some of the companies because of the coronavirus will get hit so if you think that the, the business model of that company will still be okay after the coronavirus after the lockdown after the vaccine is there then you decide that hey when all is when all of this is said and done this company is still gonna do better then 
that's when you can start holding on to it. That's when, sige, okay lang, I'll, I'll just assume that 2020 is a lost year in terms of dividends. Then 2021, 2022, 2023, doon na na ako babawi. But this is me showing you that there are possibilities that you, even though it's a safe and stable company, if the if the income is not so good, you may lose out and you may not get dividends as well. So that's the case that it's not passive income for life, especially if the company's threat earnings are threatened and that's why i've been saying this in a lot of videos it's very very important that even if you're a long-term investor that you watch out for the companies that you want to buy because it's it at the end of the day it will boil down to the company they will only give you dividends if they have the ability to be able to pay they will only give you dividends if the company is doing well it doesn't make sense for them to give you dividends if the company is not doing well altogether so there uh, I hope you guys got something from this. This is something that's very, very different. I haven't done uh, videos na ganito vlog style again for a very, very long time. But this is as raw as it can be. I just really wanted to add uh, as much value and content for all of you. If you like videos like this, uh, comment them below. This type, this format as well. So I know if I will make more of this. No logos, no anything. Uh, no background music, no intros. Just me just sharing my ideas to all of you guys as well so i forgot to introduce myself uh and i tend to do that now especially if the videos are raw and unedited but my name is marvin germo i'm a stock market trader and investor and i make daily videos to be able to educate and teach people about the rudiments of stock investing and trading because i really believe that if it's done properly it's one of the best ways for filipinos to be able to build wealth over a long period of time it's not get rich quick it's get rich right it's get rich by loving the process and making it grow for you over a stretch period of time so if you if you love it and you want to learn more i create those daily videos and i appreciate it if you could subscribe and you can hit the bell so you get updated every time i come up with content like this if you don't like the stock market and you just like entrepreneurship you like saving money you like in you like investing you like property you like bitcoin you like success stories i have another channel link is in the description it's called marvin germo podcast uh that's where all of the non-stock market videos are and i have five books uh you can order them via shopee the link is in the description below five books from the stock market investing technical analysis fundamental analysis how to pick stocks how to select stocks they're all right there in the description and three online courses one is with sean C. this friday it's a zoom call two other online courses with chinkitan stock market for everyone then another online course with uh with chancy again make money grow money it's business entrepreneurship and the stock market all of which are on demand that you can use and learn whenever you want it as well so there uh i hope you guys got a lot from this um questions what's your key takeaway from all of this what did you learn from this no uh if, if you got something put them in the comment section if you have more questions on top of this uh, please put them down as well and then i'll see if i can make more videos on top of that and that's it i hope you guys got a lot from this and this is marvin germo i hope this video helps you trade well trade strong trade smart see you all again soon guys and god bless you all